This is a short video on defibrillators. So there are two types of defibrillators that we can have. So the first being internal defibrillators and the second being external defibrillators. Internal defibrillators are known as implanted cardioverting defibrillators or ICDs. And external defibrillators can be of two types, monophasic or biphasic. So how do they work? Defibrillators are designed to provide a quantity of electrical energy in the form of direct current to the myocardium in order to return normal rhythm to a defibrillating heart. The energy is stored in a capacitor and then discharged into the patient via two large electrode pads placed across the chest wall. Now to discuss the benefits of biphasic defibrillators. So biphasic defibrillators reverse the polarity of the shock midway through shock delivery. The advantages include the energy required for cardioversion is lower, there is less myocardial stunning and depression following the shock, and they can be battery powered. Now to look at this diagram of a defibrillator. So firstly to label it, so A is a switch, B is a capacitor, and C is an inductor. Switch A has two functions. The first is to charge the capacitor, and the second is to discharge the capacitor into the patient when the second switch is on. The capacitor stores the electrical charge, and the inductor causes a back electromotive force to deliberately slow down the discharge rate of the defibrillator. The charge and energy of defibrillators are described by the following. Charge is equal to capacitance multiplied by voltage, whereas energy is equal to half capacitance multiplied by the voltage squared. Defibrillators use a step-up transformer to convert mains 240 volts AC into 5000 volts DC. And finally, I'll quickly just list the standard energy used for defibrillation in the following defibrillators. For monophasic, it's 360 joules. For biphasic, 150 joules. And implanted cardioversion defibrillators, or ICDs, use 30 to 50 joules. Thanks for watching.